We're here about eight miles east of Highway 160 near the Tacopa turnoff between Tacopa and Highway 160 where a 17 acre facility is being built called the St. Therese Mission. This facility is going to house a restaurant, a chapel, columbariums, facilities to have weddings as well as funeral services and all types of parties and a visitor center. We're going to speak to the architect, Dr. Robert Fielding, who is actually the architect for the town of Mesquite. He's redesigning Henderson and he also designed UNLV and the president of Magnificent Ventures, Randy Duzon. Okay, well, we're just getting started uh, and most of the work that's going on across the site now is dealing with underground mm -hmm. and the preparation of the site for uh, construction that will probably start uh, general construction in maybe a month or 45 days. Wow. This is really exciting, Ronnie, because not only are these plans and uh, what we're going to be having here, give a quick run through of what we're looking at at this facility. Well, it'll be a combination of things. Uh, it'll be a center for environmental, cultural, and religious events. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have a restaurant on site, uh, as well as a visitor center, where, which will house different types of exhibits depending on the time of year. Um, so we'll have both cultural exhibits, environmental exhibits, and, and, and others. Um, so that will be in the front of the, the, the project. The back is where the chapel will be and the columbarium niches, such as this behind us. Mm -hmm. um, this is where the prayer, um, meditation, solace will be. Um, so it'll be a combination of all these things. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be in this 17 and a half acre property, mm -hmm. um, which will be a lead platinum uh, building as designed by Dr. Bob. So it'll be the greenest of the green. It's as green as a project can yeah. be. Um, and we wanted this to be a, an icon for green building here in the Mojave Desert. And I know that Dr. Baba is the architect here. And yes. tell me what that's like and how proud that must be to have such a green facility. Oh, these have been the greatest clients in the world to have. And, you know, they're doing it for all of the right reasons. Mm -hmm. um, this is probably the most sustainable project in southern uh, Nevada as well as here in southeastern California. Mm -hmm because we're just inside the California border mm -hmm. um, across from the old Spanish Trail Highway. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to be doing here is that uh, we're going to be growing all of our own vegetables for food uh, that'll be served over in the restaurant uh, that will be built in the second phase starting in about eight or nine months. And we also have a tree farm, so we're going to be growing all the trees and plants that'll be going here on the uh, site. We've worked out an arrangement with Southern California Edison. They're friends of ours in this project. And uh, we can operate this, uh, the whole entire 17 and a half acres off grid if we desire to. But we're helping uh, Inyo County in Southern California Edison by generating electricity that they can transfer wow. and use in other locations.